Oh man. And not the Robot Master. Anyways. I don't know how this matchup would go. I would think... People always talk about how you should just camp Joker, but I feel like it's a little bogus sometimes. And, I mean, if it was true, then maybe Mega Man would be the right character. Maybe not, like, a campy character, but he's definitely good at forcing bad approaches. But that Gimp seemed like he could have recovered, but Nitro Shock just wasn't ready for it. And so, yeah, Lemon with the early, early kill. Got that training combos going on, man. <laughs> this is just training for Big D. <laughs> All of this. Oh, that spot dodge, man. Looking like, looking like ultimate, actually. Because no other game. I guess melee, you can also spam spot dodge. What? Pardon? Did I who? TDB? No, I am not. Uh, sorry, someone was talking to me. But either way, it seems like not too much has happened since I looked away. But either way, this is going to have to be... Some good plays from uh, Nitro if he wants to bring this back. It seemed like he was looking for maybe an uppercut and potentially miss his opportunity to go for it. But he did get some nice percent, which can be nice. Arsene is far from completion, which means it's a great time for Nitro Shock to get that stock. Trying to catch those jumps with the Metal Blade, as expected. A okay, nice F smash, but F smash is always going to kind of be a get off the move than a raw kill move. Because I feel like Mega Man doesn't really have a strong get away from me move. He can use forward air and obviously grab, but I feel like the F smash, if you can time it, does the best job. But, oh, he's just going to go for the... The thing about that situation was that it was the uppercut that whiffed. And because you can't drift in your uppercut, I feel like Lemon could have just punished with anything but down smash. But either way, a full stock lead means it doesn't matter what he's going to do. Because he's winning by quite a lot, actually. Let's see if Nitrosaw can do something. But when you're Mega Man, I don't know if he has any super early kill confirms. I mean, they kind of got rid of that one Smash 4 one with the footstool. I mean, maybe you can do it. I actually don't know. But it seems like it's going to be a lot of ground that Nitro's going to have to make up. And already, he's losing quite a lot in the percent war. When you're Mega Man, percent does matter, to be completely honest. As we talked about previously, Mega Man, unless he gets kind of a lucky up tilt or some other read with it, it's not going to be um, common for this character to kill super early. And so losing this much percent means quite a lot. He is cleaning it up, however, and he's doing a great job playing around Arsene, keeping him on the ledge. And so, yeah, Lemon's going to have to run out of Arsene, and this is the opportunity for Nitro to get even more going for him. I feel like it is possible that Arsene does go off maybe one more time. Ooh, nice F-Smash. Just never letting him land. You see, Lemon, just... When he's got you scared, he'll just be all over you. I mean, look at that grapple hook. That went so far. The F-Tilt is going to send him in an awful angle. He got his jump back, but can he make it back? He reads the row, but unfortunately, it doesn't space himself quite nicely. Okay, back air away. Oh, the footstool! I don't know if that was intentional, but it's going to keep him alive just for a few more seconds. He's going to get back aired, and he's now got to think about game two. It seemed like, Le um, it seemed like Lemon just had some great control, especially at the beginning of the match, but I do think Nitro was starting to clean it up a little bit, and we could be seeing a much closer game too if he keeps it up. Of course, Lemon still looking great. He wants to keep that momentum that he had for all of the game one. We'll see what Nitro can do on his counter pick, because I actually don't know what Bang Man likes. Seems like we're going to Battlefield. Um, gonna live a lot longer here, so I can make a good sense to go here. Got more place to control. The platform pressure of Mega Man with pellets is pretty nice too. Albeit, it's also really good with Joker, so it can go either way. Let's see what he can do, and he's got the color counter pick. 
Changing it from a blue matchup to a uh, blue and red matchup. Okay, yeah, Lemon taking it slow. He knows when to play it slow, when to play it fast. It's actually really nice to see. You can see now he's going in, he's looking for that aggression. But it does actually send him off stage to take a bit more percent. That parry. Oh, trying to pressure with the downer. Crafty stuff. And the up smash to catch the jump. That is one of the best up smashes at that. I mean, it's probably the best up smash in the game, period. But when it comes to catching jumps, it's an even deadlier, man. You thought the Fox up smash was bad? Now you got Joker to deal with. Makes Joker's up smash look like a clown. Even though Joker's the clown. <laughs> but you know, gotta keep him in the air. But Lemon does land onto the ground. He's still on the ledge, which is quite nice if you're Nitro. He can definitely clean this up eventually. Barely gonna miss that down air. Just going straight for the Shoryuken yet again. All right, so can he find this kill before Ordo puts on his headset? Let's find out, guys. Da, 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 da. Nope. Turns out, no. Yep. He did not. Sorry, I've been gone for a while. I Don't worry about it. Me too. I had to play set. Controller went missing. Oh, oh, nice tech on the counter. Anyway, so we got uh, Lemon versus Nitro, uh, Mega Man versus Beta. Uh, no, I oh, you got one. Yeah. Mega Man versus Joker. It's only 20 seconds late. <laughs> yeah, game one, it was all Lemon for the beginning of it, but Nitro did slowly start bringing it back. And now you can see this is a pretty big lead oh, for Lemon. Lemon. Lemon did win, though. He did. It was he was bringing it back, but he didn't win. Oh, is my, oh. I thought you. Yeah. Had, when, I, when you say bring it back, I think you mean like he won. No, 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 no. It would be cool if he won, though. <laughs> okay, Arsene, can I take that stock? One interesting thing about Joker is that if he compared when it gets Mega Man, is that his crash bar because it's on a timer, and Joker has like an attack that absorbs his down B like absorbs attacks. Yeah. And turns it like. Mega Man using Crash Bombers is actually a hindrance against Joker. <laughs> um, let's see. It's kind of interesting. I've I've seen this matchup before, and it, it like it happened a lot of times. Another interesting thing about Joker in general that I didn't see Nitro do is when Arsene is active and you die to it, you can totally just wait the timer out. And it seemed like Nitro wanted to stay hot as opposed to playing it more smartly and just waiting for the timer to go out. Yeah. Ooh, the uppercut. Didn't get the right hit of it, so he's not going to get that kill. Uh, but Lemon... Nice back air. Uh, who's playing who? I don't know which one. Nitro is Mega Man. Okay. I'm... And Lemon is Joker. Yeah, you need to... I already this is what they're known as. Yeah. I thought that was the case, but I wanted to make sure. Yeah. Anyway, so currently Nitro is... No, I mean, uh, currently Nitro is a little bit behind now. So... This is looking really bad, and he's going to be thrown off stage over and over again. It seems like... A lot of this set is just Mega Man getting edge guarded. <laughs> oh, too which late. I mean, if you're a Joker, you can totally edge guard anyone you want. Anyone can edge guard <laughs> if you try hard enough, I guess. But if you're a Joker, you can anyone can edge guard with Joker if you're good enough. I, I guess. He's got so many.